Who? The ghost from the forest that's gone out of control. The overgrowth is maddening. Hey, well, we're starting our fence project today, and you can see my string as it runs along here. And there's a survey stake right there that the survey's put in where the fence line is supposed to be. And you can see it run out that direction. See, I got a post right there to go in right where that string is. You can see I just put um, my two corner posts in. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Glad I had that excavator to do all this clearing and stuff, but you can see my two corner posts with the string. And you can see the concrete marker representing the property line. You can see these fences were never put on the property line. Um, but um, because of all the overgrowth, you can see an example of this. I'll clear this will be my next fence project actually be this third fence project this is my first fence project uh, for the year so okay I'll give you updates okay this is where my uh, neighbor wants me to put a gate I'm not sure about it I actually like to put it kind of further down this direction about right where the excavator is even with that right across there but this is where he wants it so to be neighborly i'll put it here and you see i got my post set up there for a 12-foot gate so i'll start setting these posts hey remington that's our new blue healer that's in training hey get back you gotta learn stay sit 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 okay good boy yeah, he's got a lot to, uh, he jumped on me, don't do that. He's got a lot to learn. Well, to give you an update on the fence, you can see uh, the fence project. Right now, <laughs> the fence behind us is horrible. So I, that's the only section I gotta still clear out the behind this, this set of panels. I just put these panels out from the tractor. You can see I brought them in because I need to clean this section a fence that you can see so let me put the last one on it to, out so as you can see I just put the last one out I'm going to tie it in with wire into this post here, even though this post is in the wrong spot. It's got to move, but you can see how it fits up nice. So now I can clear out this section over here. By the way, these panels weigh probably 60 pounds a piece. They're pretty damn heavy. So, okay, give you updates. Oh my goodness, it's a stink. Nope, stink skin. I guess there's a happy new uh, skin on a snake, but there is the snake skin. I think that occurred last night or something, or well, it wouldn't have been a night, yesterday sometime during the day. Well, thanks to the mini me excavator. You saw where I was putting those panels this morning. Well, you can see I've cleared that whole area. Looks good. You can see some of the posts I'm getting ready to set here pretty soon. Um, you can see the line, nice straight line. Do you see how bad the old fence was? Where was he on the property line and stuff? So glad I'm getting this corrected. Okay, until next update. Okay, as you can see, I've dug the uh, old post out. You can see the concrete in there. I pushed it to the side. That would be a good support on the uh, pull side of this fence. So. That'll work out well. 
Now I'm getting ready to show you a little excavator trick of standing this pole up and driving it down. Now with this mini excavator, I'm not going to drive it all the way down. I have to get the big excavator, but at least I'll set it anyway. So, and by the way, this little concrete marker right there is the property line. Actually, technically, it runs to the center line of the road, but this is the surveyor's mark here. Um, so let me get ready to place this pole. 